the rumor mill was churning out off-season supposition that Sander Bogarts and Jackie Bradley would be made available by the Boston Red Sox. Just how legitimate the rumors were is a debatable point, but teams routinely seek to determine a value and with Bogarts, value is complicated by free agency at the conclusion of 2019 season. BSI has placed value in rumors regarding Bradley, but there may be a substructure making dealing hesitant, especially regarding Bogarts. The Bradley rumors have been an annual ritual in Boston as the splendid defensive work by the Gold Glove. Finally, center fielder is compromised by offensive inconsistencies. Bradley, however, did accomplish an RBI onslaught in the ALCS that made JBJ the series MVP. Replacement is important and especially so for Bogarts. Last I looked, the shortstop position did not have an abundance of hitters capable of 103 RBI. If shipped elsewhere, replacing his bat would be Sisyphus-type challenge, but defensively the Red Sox could actually upgrade with a player such as former Red Sox shortstop Jose Iglesias. And Bradley, maybe an Andrew Benintendi could slide into center field or even MVP Mookie Betts. But Bogarts is the big kahuna. So where does Dustin Pedroia fit in? Maybe a different slant I propose? Pedroia did nothing in 2018 except cash payroll checks for $16 um. But what if Pedroia was healthy? The effervescent second baseman is a lifetime .300 hitter and a potent force in the lineup, when healthy. And health is the phrase that captures attention. A healthy Pedroia for 2018 may have encouraged the Red Sox to ship out XB, but now, If there was a guarantee that Pedroia was ready to resume his top-of-the-line career in 2019 the Red Sox would have less of an issue with replacing the offense of Bradley and especially Bogarts. If Pedroia had put in 20 games last September with his former agility and batting prowess on display Bogarts could very well be elsewhere. This spring could have an interesting backdrop if Petty restores his prominent position. Red Sox could be in the market again to move Bogarts and or Bradley to address other needs, pitching, prospects, or catching. Next, push to trade Jackie Bradley comes up empty so the Bogarts and Bradley trade issue could resurface, but for this point in time, the Red Sox appear reluctant to part with either a reduction in offense and defense. Temptation to avoid a free agency battle with agent Scott Boras, who represents both may be enough of an enticement to go forward if Pedroia proves himself ready for the bell. For now, Pedroia's status may have saved Bogarts and Bradley, at least short term.